what a day. I just walked to the spot. Cherie said she's still at work. And she's on the fifth floor, so... I have to walk up there now, five floors with this bag. But I think we made it. We made it to Shanghai. <laughs> Oh, it's definitely her place. It's so neat. That's so gorgeous. I am in Shanghai, China. I decided to come visit my friend Cherie. She's been living here a few months. I, we actually met in Korea. She's South African. So we just became like best friends in Korea and I promised her I'd be visiting her. But she's at work at the moment, so I just got to her place. I took a quick shower. Right now, I'm waiting for her to come home and then we're gonna go for dinner. It's been a while since we saw each other. So really excited. Hey, <laughs> Shippy! <laughs> 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 Ooh, morning. I got the beautiful Chanel lipstick on for the first time and the quality texture is amazing so I'm like thinking about investing in some more Chanel. It's day two in Shanghai. Cherie and I had a lot of catching up to do, so we were just like, couldn't stop talking. So many things to tell, so many stories to tell, so many things to ask. So we had our big catch up and last night we watched a movie and we went to bed. So it was a very chill first night. She's at work today, so I am exploring Shanghai on my own. And of course, my first day here, I'm gonna go to the Bund. It's not the Bund. I thought it was the Bund. It's the Bund, which is like this very popular area or strip or I don't know. What the heck? I'm Tyler. This is like the perfect weather to explore a new city. It's 20 degrees today, so it's there's a breeze, but it's so beautiful. I feel like this outfit matches like perfectly. But yeah, we're gonna head to the nearest train station and then go to the Bond. So many scooters here. Apparently, it's like really easy to rent a bike or a scooter here. So most people just drive that. And it's really funny that when the people stop at the traffic lights, they just sit on their phones. I'm at the chocolate garden <laughs> and those sculptures were completely made of chocolate. It's so loud in here. Um, there's a little chocolate history museum thingy that I'm going through now. But everything is in Chinese, everything's Mandarin, so I'll have to go and translate it to learn a little bit. I mean, they have Frida Kahlo eating chocolate and she's my favorite artist, so <laughs> I'm so happy. I taught a lesson on Chinese traditional instruments and it's so beautiful to see it and the ladies even playing the song. So that's really cool. So there's the river and then on the other side of the river you can see all of the famous buildings so that's why i came to this side today <sighs> look at this thank you very nice i had no one to take my picture so i just did a quick little photo shoot with the photographer and it was really fun actually they took a cute picture of me so now i at least have something to show for being here
so far I've experienced Shanghai to be very open, not a lot of people, not like I'm in Seoul, that's so condensed. It's a lot more space, bigger buildings, bigger everything. So that's nice. So it doesn't seem like it's so quiet. So they are soup filled dumplings. Oh, no, you're okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, they're very hot. No idea how to eat this. <laughs> it's almost like a little meatball inside. The soup. It's really, really good. I ordered dumplings. I didn't know if they were going to be the soup dumplings. And they were. So I'm very happy. That was amazing. Although very difficult to eat. Little, little soup stain. <laughs> okay, I'm walking to the Jing'an Temple right now. And um, it's noisy, of course. But on top of it, like people just drive with their scooters wherever they want. It's kind of crazy. It's like you're in Thailand or Vietnam. So um, yeah, that's one thing I'm surprised that they don't follow like rules as much as I thought they would. So there's the Jing'an Temple. Very, very beautiful. All the gold. Okay, I'm in the temple now. A lot of people are lighting these um, sticks and doing a little bow over there. I'm not exactly sure what that means. That was definitely a very peaceful experience. Beautiful, um, all these statues made of silver, made of um, wood. Oh my goodness. Good morning. <laughs> uh, it's day two in Shanghai and um, I just made a breakfast, so I um, feel like if you're traveling, the best thing to do is get a good breakfast in to have some energy for the day. I woke up this morning and Cherie had left me coffee by my bed. Thank you, Cherie. This is the best feeling. It feels like I'm at home. When someone just does something so thoughtful, my heart was like... Oh, baby. <laughs> I've been walking for nearly 30 minutes now, which like the, the weather is really nice. But if you underestimate how far how far places are apart from each other, even just from station to station, they're much further than in Seoul because the city is much bigger. So getting from like one point to another seems like close on the map, but it's actually like a 30 minute walk. I can see this is a beautiful family park, a uh, very nice open space and it's quite big so people just bring their kitties here and come chill and just sit, very very peaceful. Okay, I'm in this little street and it's definitely like a boutique kind of street. It's very cute, look at the fashion. 
Um, I mean, I love seeing the fashion they have here. Look at these hoodies, they're so adorable. Um, so yeah, so obviously a little more on the pricey side, but I love the aesthetic and it's, yeah, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, so I just went to this very strange, it's almost like a high-end furniture place, but it's so artistic, it's, it's art, so obviously it's expensive, but it's so unique, and who knew China could be that naughty? They have like penis mirrors, and like, <laughs> like, I don't know, like very sexually suggestive furniture, which is like, I've never seen that before in my life. So Sherry, you know, you didn't bust out. This is my lack of when when I'm rice bought. So now you have to go. It's not bad. I can't even go out yet. It's my problem. I've got the natural frizz happening today. I've honestly been so lazy today, like the past two days of walking has been a lot. I think my focus is just going to be buying some gifts for my family. We're doing the orange frizzy hair. We're ready for Friday. Oh, it's Friday. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you, bye. I found the <laughs> I found the art district <laughs> finally There are just so many galleries here. It's really hard to choose which ones to go to, but I have to. Okay, that's it for the art part of this video. That was good to see some Chinese art. Um, very, very peaceful. Um, I'm going on a weekday, so I'm assuming that's why it was so quiet. Oh my god. So I'm here watching rugby. My favorite sport, except I don't want to play it. They really wanted me to play, but 
I'm a little bit too allergic to the grass, so uh, it's not gonna work. If I wanted to go play, I'd end up not being able to breathe tonight. Cherie and Jess both used to live in Korea with me. It's crazy to be in another country and have the same people here, so it's a little taste of home, and uh, yeah, it's just lovely. <laughs> Laka. Where are we going, Cherie? Now, what Are we going to the beer bus? Yeah. Yeah, we're going on a beer bus. It's our last day together. Farid is not working for the first time this whole week. And we're at the Shanghai Aquarium. Let's go see some fish. Uh, I hope to see an octopus today. My favorite animal. Little drips, you, you, oh my god. What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> it's my last day in Shanghai. The plan is to grab food and go to the airport. I met some really great people. I had some really good food. I know where Shanghai is definitely not what I expected it to be. I'm gonna end off this video here. We'll grab some food. So thank you so much for watching. Please give me a big thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye.